Hi Saggy, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're part of our family. Saggy, I hope you're doing really well. Um, I say that with almost like a tiny, there's just, I'll explain, um, when I was meditating on your energy and prepping all the decks, there was an energy I was getting, um, and it's gotta be for some of you out there, of exhaustion, feeling exhausted, feeling like you have been giving and giving and giving and yet you know, there's no break for you. Um, so if that is your, if that is how you've been feeling, man, I'm picking up on it for sure today. Okay, Sag, timeless reading as always. Whenever you feel called to this reading, there might be something specifically in it for you. Um, it is a general reading as well, um, not a one-to-one. -one, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, of course. Um, that would be more of a personal reading that would have to happen. Um, what else? Obviously, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting myself as well as other uh, Saggies that are here. Um, I read all of the comments. I try to respond. Um, you know, sometimes I can't get to every one of them. But here's the thing. The fact that you guys are like supporting one another and lifting each other and being there for one another. I mean, how much better does it get? I mean, it's pretty wonderful to know that we are all together um, really supporting one another energetically wise on the energetic connection. Whether we have never met before, that doesn't really matter. Um, it is really more about our energy. So I love you. Thank you for being so wonderful to me and to others. And man, I just hope you're going to be doing well. Okay, so Sag, and if you like a private reading, obviously all that information is down below. My voice is a little faded. I don't know what's going on other than it's been very humid where I live. Um, cold, but humid. My voice, my throat chakra just obviously gets affected, but we're going to push through. It doesn't hurt. I'm fine. Okay, so Sag, we're going to open up. I mean, when I was meditating, honestly, there was a lot of energy coming through. And so I feel like spirit wants me to dive into a lot of decks. We're going to see if that energy stays or not, but to start with, we're going to open up with a good tarot um, and get kind of at one card maybe to see what energy is around you or that you might be dealing with right now. <clears throat> but like I said, I really felt this energy of, you know, Sag, like you need a break. You need a break. Now, I don't know whether that is in your work or if that's in your career, if it's just in life in general. I mean, I was talking to some friends the other day and we were all talking about how there's a lot more people right now uh, kind of struggling, you know, um, even just on, like on the mental level. So there's a lot of heaviness. There's a lot of weight, or, you know, depending on where you're in the world. I mean, um, Northern Hemisphere, it's getting less and less sunlight. So that obviously can affect our seasonal depression. Um, there's just a feeling of overwhelmness. So know that you're not alone. Okay. If you are feeling that way, we're going to get through this period together. Um, you know, uh, October is going to be an interesting month as well because we have all these eclipses. Um, I'll be the last one to tell you how that's going to affect you, but I just know that when there's big things like that happening, eh, things can feel a little wonky. Okay, so Sag, without me talking anymore, I'm going to have a sip of water and then we're going to get into this reading. I hope you've been taking good care of yourself the best that you can. I definitely know some of you have a lot of responsibility, a lot of... Um, having to take care of things, other people, etc. at this time. Okay, so Sag, let's just get started. All right, beautiful spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius, for those Saggies that this reading is actually meant for. What is it that you have for them? Bottom of the deck, we have Six of Fire. Ooh, I like this kind of energy because this is your energy, Aries and Leo as well. Six of Fire, Six of Wands. <clears throat> you know, that is that energy of kind of getting there. Like, um, you know, Five of Wands comes before that, so that is that struggle. It is that... Um, heaviness <clears throat> can be arguing, can just be even internal heaviness, struggling. Six of Fire comes after that because it is a victor victory card. It's about being able to take a break, being able to be acknowledged, even seen for some of you. Maybe people haven't been seeing your efforts, but this is coming through to say that it will be. You will be acknowledged and there will be something to celebrate. It's quite a beautiful card. It's like a ship that is attached to this gorgeous balloon. Um, there's like balloons all the way around it. Um, what are those called? Um, I am in channel mode, so uh, helium balloons. You know the balloons people go up in? I've never done that my, in myself, but that is what it's representing. It's almost like lifting up and lifting onward. Okay, so let me show you that. It is on the bottom, and as you know, if you're here often, you know the bottom speaker, spirit talks a lot through the bottom. So it has taken a lot to get there, though, because we have the strength card next, which is number eight. That is Leo's card. 
you know, it has taken a lot of courage. It's taken a lot of push perseverance to get to where you are. And you might not be here right now, but this is Spirit's way of saying you're going to get there, Sad, You're going to get there. Um, okay. And then we have the air of Ace of Air talking backwards here, which is Ace of Swords, right? Beautiful energy of seeing things new, having a new, almost like it could be an aha moment, but seeing more clearly if things have been foggy, it is indicating here that you're going to start feeling a lot lighter. And here's the thing with this ship, it's in the air, right? Floating upward. Well, so is this Ace of Air. It is like this Pegasus that's up in the clouds and about to fly, you know, with the wings. Beautiful energy right now. We even have the magician net. Yep. <laughs> okay. Next, Sag. So wherever you are right now, hold on, baby. Hold on because things are going to get better. All right. So Spirit, can you show me what energy is around Sag at this time? Oh, come on. I really didn't even shuffle. All right. We got the king of air and we have the star. Oh, beautiful. And we got the page of water on the bottom. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. That's a lot of energy. <clears throat> All right, Saggy. King of air, king of swords, right? We're still on the swords. That's everything that goes on in our mind, in our head. It's how we communicate with ourselves, with others. It's our speaking. Um, king of air, though, is this wise energy, especially in this deck. And as I always say, energy comes differently from for me, to me, um, obviously from my guides, but also the decks, too. They all have different feelings. The cards have different feelings. So I'll show you the king of air. Uh, traditionally, this is someone who is quite, quite wise can see very, very clear, does not um, get fooled by any kind of manipulation, any kind of um, bullshit, I'll put it that way. Can be an attorney, a, an authoritative figure, I'll put it that way. Can be in the legal system as well. Doesn't have to be though. This is the energy of getting very, very clear. Now, again, they're giving me that energy I was picking up before off camera. For those of you that have been feeling taken advantage of, feeling like you're, um, they're giving me that, they're giving me an image of an elastic band and it's being stretched, 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 stretched. And you know what happens? It will break eventually. Um, they're giving me this energy. So I feel like this is advice right now from Spirit saying you got to get a little bit more, a little bit more disciplined in your emotions. Now, Sag, I have a ton of Sagis besides you in my life. Um, and I love and adore Sag, as you know. Um, what I do notice with Sagi is you guys will bite off a lot. You will take a lot. You'll do a lot. Even if you're not doing very great, even if you're feeling worn out, burnt out, exhausted, right? Needing a week off, needing a day off from life, right? Um, you will still fight through that. So I feel like Spirit is saying, you got to be kinder to yourself. You got to be able to acknowledge in your mind when you may be hitting that point of exhaustion, okay? Because it is followed by the star. Stars, uh, star is Aquarius's energy, it is a major arcana. It's number 17, so we have that eight showing up, and eights from here about your life path that you're on right here, right now. So the star is saying that there is healing, there is renewal that is needed here. It is in the center as well, this was on the bottom of the deck. So the star is a positive energy though of taking that time out, taking that break. So whenever you come to this reading, Sag, Try to make some space for you and only you where you can fill up your cup, you know, where you can re-empower yourself. Um, because off camera, I was also getting words of connection and I was getting words of power. So I feel like Spirit is saying that if your juices have kind of stopped flowing and you're feeling very tapped out, this would be the time to really mentally get very clear about taking a time out, um, allowing yourself to have a break. The star can represent wishes coming true as well, um, but I'm really getting more of this renewal, the healing, allowing yourself to kind of get a second breath of air here. Weird statement there, but that's what they gave me. It's followed by the page of water stash. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of water, pages are the beginners. Um, and water is representing, well, you know, it represents our emotions. It represents our emotions, our deep, deep feelings. Um, can represent romance, you know, all of that kind of stuff. The page of water here is suggesting that there's going to be a new beginning for you, probably in your emotions and how you're feeling, right? Um, because when you think about it, if our emotions, oh, that's kind of getting wiped out. It's, this is a beautiful card, but it's not really showing very clearly the colors. Interesting. That's weird. Anyways, we'll just move on. <coughs> um, <clears throat> when our emotions, <clears throat> when we get drained, Physically is definitely difficult when we're physically unwell, physically exhausted. 
it's very difficult to get through, right? But when our emotions also then are um, kind of all over, maybe really tapped out, I mean, I'm getting the energy of maybe you're feeling a little frustrated, maybe you're feeling a little bit um, fed up, okay? I just heard that. That's all normal in this life that we live because we're always going up, we're going down. I mean, there's always movement happening. It sometimes can be completely exhausting. Um, the page of water is saying that you're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have a renewal in your emotions, meaning also a renewal in who you're in relationships with um, and who you're not, right? And the king of air could be saying, look, there might be people around you that are taking great advantage of you. And it's time to kind of really take a look at that and release what isn't working for you anymore and put your focus on what is. But it starts with you, Sag. Okay, this we're going to move on. I have a feeling this might be a long read, Sag, um, because I am getting a lot of energy coming through. I want to go to the Animal Oracle. They're guiding me here, so we will. All right, Spirit. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, on the bottom, Sag, we have the bull. And the bull is all about sacrifice. And that is the energy I'm picking up here. So again, this could be your family demanding too much from you. It could be your career demanding too much from you. It could be the bills. Um, just life pressure. Getting to a point where... It, something's got to stop. Something's got to stop. There's got to be a break and there's got to be a restart. So hopefully whenever you're coming to this reading, you're going to be able to take a little bit of that time up or at very least try to be conscientious, conscientious, can I say that word? Conscientious, I can't say it, um, in your mind about really taking those little moments for you, okay? It doesn't have to be a huge big thing. But you got to put yourself first because with the, the bull coming out here, um, it's number 40. So fours for me are about that solid foundation. We need a solid foundation in our life, figuratively, literally, um, so that we can tackle the things that come towards us. So that we can feel grounded and safe even if we're going through turmoil, right? The bull is saying it is time for you to um, put yourself first. I mean, I'm going to show you this card. There's lightning bolts all over it which indicates stormy weather, right? It indicates like storm brewing. And Sag, I know you have a big, beautiful heart and you're very tolerant. Don't get me, don't get that mixed up. I'm not saying you are naive or that you're a pushover. That's not at all what I'm saying here. I am saying that you will give and give and give. And sometimes it's to maybe even the wrong people because they might not appreciate that. And it is time for you to Perhaps not sacrifice so much is what I want to say here. Um, let me show you the card. Okay, you see all that lightning? There's a storm brewing. And sadly, you don't want to get to the point where you're going to explode, right? Okay. <clears throat> Followed by red crowned crane, which is about loyalty. Um, that is 29. That adds up to 11. One plus one is two. So it is a choice. Could be a choice about a partnership, a friendship, a relationship. The fact that it is behind the sacrifice I feel at this time you might be sitting back questioning, well, who's really for me and who really isn't? And who's taking a lot from me and who's giving back? You know that equal exchange? I think this is a very powerful time for you, Sag, of getting clearer and clearer and clearer on your path about, again, what is working for you and what isn't working for you in whatever area of life this is, this is directed at. Okay. All right, Spirit, what is the animal card then you have for Sagittarius before we get into the tarot? Show me clearly, please, for those Sagis this reading is meant for. Show me clearly, please, Spirit, what is the animal card you have? I feel that there's one that needs to come out, so we're going to shuffle for a bit. Sagi, feel free to move forward, fast forward if you want to. The deck is feeling a little bit, bit discombobulated as well. Okay, where I just where I stopped is Arm, Armadillo. This is about grounding yourself, groundedness. Again, that number four, you know, finding your ground, finding your safe spot, finding the place where where you know that the people around you love you and that are there for you and that will help you on your path, okay? It is seven, so seven is about, you know, contemplation. Okay, Spirit, let's get one card here. The death feels really slow, or I feel slow here. I think I'm definitely picking up on your energy. Um, feeling exhausted, worn out, but doing, trying to do the very best you can, Sag. What is the animal card? Can we get one, please, Spirit, for Sag? OK, 
Okay, that's way, way too many. Way too many, Sag, um, but I will take a look at it. We've got the truth again on the bottom. This card has been showing up a lot lately. Jackal, all about the truth. 44, it is an eight again when you add those two up, but four is again, um, that's that foundation. Let me have a look here. It's honestly wild that this card has been showing up a lot for Sag. Okay, we have the Wolverine, which is fierceness. What did I say that we don't want to explode here? Beaver, we got the work. That's all about work. News, Raven. We got a lot here. We got stability, sea turtle, and we have the tiger. I mean, okay, I'll take all of these, but I'm going to try and keep it a little short because otherwise you guys are going to get bored, I'm sure. All right, Spirit. This is wild. Big reading. Okay, let's put this over here. Okay. So, you know, the truth is really about, I feel, and this lines up exactly with the king of air here. You know, again, that is about seeing the truth and not making any excuses for others or not making any excuses of, you know, just taking full stock here and going, hold on. Have I been putting too much? Have I been giving too much? Am I getting exhausted? With the Wolverine, that is about that fierceness. It is number five, Sash. So it is about a change. And I do feel for some of you, you might be on the verge of, you know, just burnout. Burnout. Beaver is that, that's the work. It's representing, you know, working all the time. And remember, you have the sacrifice card at the beginning. It's number 27. That is a nine. So you're coming close to a conclusion, to a completion. We then move on to the Raven, which is news. It's 23, so we have another five showing up. You might be receiving news. There might be some news that comes in that is, allows you to speak your truth. And relief, re, re, what's the word, Spirit? Relieve, sorry, that's what I'm hearing. Relieve yourself of some of this pressure, some of this responsibility. And therefore, it takes you to a place of stability where you can kind of breathe and relax and rest. I'll show you the card in a moment. It is number eight. So we have that eight again, eight and eight. There's connection here. I hope this is making sense to those of you that this is your reading. Um, and it's followed by the tiger, which is your will. And Sag, you have a very, very strong will. Again, there is a risk, though, of if you don't acknowledge when you're feeling burnt out and you feel like you might need a little bit of help and a little bit of assistance, you got to acknowledge that. Otherwise, you might just burn yourself right out. It is number 34, so we have a seven again. That contemplation stuff. Are you putting your energy into the right place, the right people, um, or not, right? Or not. And only you're going to be able to answer that. So let me show you this. I want to show you these cards here. So the raven is, as I said, it is 23. It is about news coming in, but that can also mean communication, messages, something coming in here. Some of you might be receiving some kind of communication that relieves you of all this pressure, of all of this sacrificing and working so darn hard. Um, something is coming in, though, because look at how the crow is looking at the sea turtle. And on the sea turtle, Sag, there is a little person on the sea turtle sleeping, finally being able to rest, finally being able to get the stability. So, you know, for some of you, if you give examples, this could be about something to do with your work, right? Um, whatever you do to bring income in. <clears throat> you know, you are probably getting pretty burnt out. Maybe some of you need to speak your truth and say, look at, I've been working really, really hard here. Where's my raise? Where's my boss? You know, or where's my um, bonus? You know, um, there is this feeling coming through here on I'm just going to make a little room here, Saj. Bear with me. Um, on the Wolverine and with the beaver, right? Um, but again, I f I j it just feels an energy coming through here where this is a reading about really using your beautiful intuition, the inner guidance system of you and your intellect and your knowledge and really sessing out what is best for you and what isn't. Now, again, some of you are going to be receiving news here that is going to bring you a lot more comfortability, a lot more energy of being able to rest and, and not have burnout, of being supported. Because that sea turtle is supporting that person on, on its back, right? And even like with the tiger, right? There's a person riding the tiger. The tiger has, you know, uh, reins on it. It looks like kind of a saddle. But it is about your will. What are you wanting? What are you trying to achieve here? Um, what would give you, if you could, if we could just talk here for a second in your life, 
because you know I'm a big believer of manifestation. I believe that thoughts become things, and the more time, more things you think about, like your thoughts are going to become whatever they are, whether you want them or not, right? Um, so there is this energy coming through about taking a step back and really going, okay, if I could have everything that I wanted in this world, in this lifetime, in my vessel here, what is it? How does it look? How does it look? And go as deep as you can. What does it look like? Is it that house? Is it that, that relationship? Is it that um, big bank account? Whatever it is. Um, and really kind of start focusing on that because that's going to help you speak your truth. It's going to help you be very clear and, and um, very, what's the word here? Can't quite get it. They're giving me a word. Um, I'm going to say direct, but it's not direct. It's a different word, and I can't, but I can't pick it up. It's just going to make things much more clear for you. And again, you know, there is this energy of burnout, Sag. So this time, whenever it is that you come to this reading, I do feel that this is going to be the time that Spirit, your guide, your angel, source, God, whatever you believe in, you know, the divine is going, look, you got to take a look at this. you got to take a look at this because there is struggle going on. There is a struggle going on. Okay. Sag, let's get into the tarot and see where this is going to take us. But do remember, please, do remember that you do have, what am I showing you? That's the five of fire. I thought, okay, my mind, I thought it was um, the six of, of fire, six of wands, but five of fire, that's interesting because I did mention that at the very beginning. It is showing up here, isn't it? And that's the card of, you know, arguing, drama, um, just that internal, internal, um, fight going on here. We even have the high priestess next. Because I didn't look at this. This is about really trusting you. Trusting what your soul is telling you. Okay. We have the nine of pentacles after that, which is all about a stable, independent finances. <coughs> stable, uh, independent self-worth. Okay, so this is a reading, Sag. I don't, I'm not really at this point, I'm not getting anyone else involved in this reading. Um, it really is feeling that this is about you and setting boundaries and seeing clear and seeing very clear. And that is going to offer you a brand new beginning in your emotions, in your relationships, et cetera, et cetera, whatever water that means for you. Okay, Spirit, let's start. Where should we go here? I feel like light seers. Let's start with light seers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. We've got the seven of cups on the bottom stage. So we're talking about the cups here, right? Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See, there's an overwhelming energy I'm getting here. You know, what do I do? What do I pick? What do I say? What don't do I, what don't I say? Seven of cups. Now, this is a really interesting card to see it, um, you know, because there's these, these six gold cups around. Um, and then there's one that is more of an orange brass kind of color, right? Um, and it is about figuring out what you want and what you don't want, right? Where you want to go. But there's that confusion again, because I feel like you're very burnt out. We have the tower next. <sighs> the tower, man, the tower. I mean, it usually means that there is something that's going to come in that might shock you, that might um, come out of the blue at the same time. This could even just be representing you maybe getting a little fierce of like uh, protecting your energy. Like, oh, I need to, I need to really start fighting up, fighting for myself. Um, but nevertheless, the tower comes in because it is about bringing in some kind of transformation, right? Something that has to, has to break so that something better can be built on, upon it. And then we have the queen of wands next, which is your energy. Um, feminine signed, but we all have feminine and mas masculine. So it's about getting your magic back. Falling back in love with you, with your life, with what you do, how you see life, you know, all of that kind of beautiful energy and two of swords. So there's that exhaustion. Okay. All right. Let's get into the spirit. What do you have for Saggy? What would you like Saggy to know? I mean, there's a lot of cards coming out. We got the justice card that just flew up. Okay. So there is a balance that's going to come back in. But Saggy, if you notice, that is a sword of truth. It's all about the sword um, um, suit, right? Balance is coming back in, but this is about, again, about speaking your truth, seeing your truth, and really not backing down from that. Um, it is number 11 too, so, you know, and we are in Libra season at this time, so this could be very substantial, affecting your life 
from whenever you come to this reading moving on. Um, I'm getting a lot of energy of you being really respected. Um, people actually really kind of going, okay, Sag, I hear you and I see you. I get you and let me help you. Let me help bring some stability into your world. Let me help you renew yourself. Restore, I'm even hearing. So ju that's justice. So it's a very powerful card, very divinely orchestrated as well. We've got the Knight of Swords on the bottom. You know, it's again, it's the air and energy, Sag, and it is about what is it that you want. All that whole speech that my guys were giving me earlier about when you know what you want, right? That helps get to the place where you're manifesting it and it's coming to your door. So the Knight of Swords going after and, and really making a focus of what it is you want. See, Two of Pentacles, there's that juggling stuff. Where's the, There's that, I'm burnt out, but someone else needs me to go do this and I'm still exhausted, but then that person calls me and I need to do this. It's too much, it's too much, All right? Okay, let's get more. So Justice. Things balancing out. The reminder of the connection you have with other people, again, however that is, in your community, um, whatever. It is about standing up for you here. This is a big turning point, I feel. And just accepting and, and, and knowing, okay, well, if you don't like me, that's okay. I don't, I don't need to put my energy um, towards you. You know, I'm going to put my energy towards those that do um, care about me. Okay, show me more, please, Spirit. What else would you like Saji to know? Oh, the deck's feeling so different. What's going on? Show me more. Sagittarius. Show me more, please, Spirit. I can't just have one card, is it? Just one card. Okay, crickets. It's okay. Is there anything you have, anything else you have out of this, um, my light series deck, Spirit? Anything else? Okay, I'm going to go three more times. Four of Pentacles where I stopped. Very prevalent here. Four of Pentacles, yes, it is a miser card, used to be called that, etc. But again, this is a different energy. Look at how she's holding her purse. As in, you know, I'm not giving any, I'm not giving any more out. Exactly, Sag. I'm not saying become cold and, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff at all. You know what I'm saying here. This is about you and being more disconcern, using disconcernment on where you're putting your energy. Who is receiving your energy? Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. There's that resting. I need time out. I need to heal. I need to rejuvenate myself. I'm exhausted. Queen of Cups, let me love myself more. Let me nurture myself. I need to protect my energy because I'm feeling exhausted and I need to find balance and I need to get back into the flow. Wow, man. And the hangman, so I can change my perspective. Okay, Sag, you get the gist here. King of Pentacles and I can find my stability again and feel renewed. I keep using all these R words I'm getting. Okay, um, we're going to go three more times and then I'll move on to another deck. All right, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me. Is there anything else that's one, two, anything else out of this deck? Three, no. But we got the four of cups on the bottom, so we've had three fours. Significant message coming in for you about making, bringing in the solid, solid, solidarity, bringing in the solidness, bringing in... Because I I'm, I just heard they just I just heard the words topsy turvy topsy turvy that things have been topsy turvy um, and I think what that means is just kind of chaotic that there's no there's nothing that feels quite so stable at this time okay so four of cups um, this is when is things gonna change you know when am I gonna get my rainbow when am I gonna be able to enjoy my life and have the stability. Okay, and then we have the higher front next, which is about your wisdom. Okay, let me put this deck to the side. Okay, um, guide me, please, spirit. Okay, thank you. Go to the animal, the um, animal deck, spirit and animal. Okay, Sag, so here we go. We've got the nine of swords on the bottom. Representing all the anxiety, the stress, the lack of sleep. Are you sleeping good? 
you may not be sleeping good. I just got that vision of um, someone getting up and really having a hard time um, getting the rest because the mind is not stopping. And even if you've ever had this experience when you're, when you're under stress and you're feeling exhausted and feeling worn out and like you don't have another <coughs> ounce of energy to give to anyone else, you ever notice how your body also kind of will start to do that too is you can be ex completely exhausted but you can't, you can't get rest? That's what I'm really picking up here. So Nine of Swords, thank you Spirit for confirmation, followed by the Three of Cups. Sag, this is about you relaxing a little bit more and trying to get a little more fun into your life. You know, maybe have a glass of wine if you like wine. There's three chalets there. But Three of Cups is about more, it's more about hanging out with the people that really matter, um, that are light and have that lighter energy. Kind of like taking a break from taking care of everyone else, enough sacrificing and allowing yourself to have some fun. And look, we got the Hierophant once again. Different energy with this one because he sits on a key. It's like you hold the key to your desires. You hold that key, Sag. Okay, there's number five. So, you know, that is that change that's needed here. Some of you, this is definitely going to be about work and standing up for yourself and demanding better and wanting more. For others of you, I'm really getting a greater sense, though. It's feeling a little bit more like it, this kind of covers a lot of areas in your life. Like it could be work, could be family, could be neighborhoods, um, could even be in love, right? You know, just kind of this energy of feeling taken advantage of. Okay, spirit. Is there anything else? Do you have anything else other than the tarot? Okay, we got the judgment. Wow. Judgment, major arcana showing up here. Judgment is a big change. It's a big decision. It's like a decision that is... You know, once you usually make this decision, it's life-changing, meaning you normally can't go back. But in this situation, Sag, this is a very positive card to come out. First of all, it does feel like it is very, you know, hands of God kind of energy. Um, coming in to go, okay, you, you gotta, we got to change this for you. Um, it is also empower, empowering because it feels like if this is your reading, you are making the decision to not really tolerate anything any le less anymore, if that makes sense um and i feel like that is with all connections i will put it that way so you have the divine on your side here and when you make this decision to speak your truth and stand up for you and what you deserve you are just going to get a whole bunch of like i'm just get feeling like wing white wings wings of angels this is what i'm feeling right now in my mind's eye right behind you just kind of like pushing you forward in the right direction, at the same time protecting you from anything or anyone that doesn't have your highest good um, forefront, if that makes sense. So judgment, and always think, it is that saying, uh, Phoenix rising under the ashes, right? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, Sag. So look, wish fulfillment coming in here, what you are wanting, what you've been thinking of, what you've been wishing for, it is all within your grasp here. It is all within your grasp. And then once again, we get the Father's of Cup, Father of Cups. So King of Cups, just the masculine side of really protecting yourself. And again, it's not about closing yourself off to those that matter to you. It isn't. It isn't. But, you know, there comes a point in life where if you do things all the time for other people, and at the end of it, like, have you ever had this experience? Because I've had it many times in my life. Um, maybe you've got company. They come. I'm just using this as an example, right? Uh, you, you have people, maybe it's family members or something, and they, yeah, let's stick with family members. I just got the nod from spirit. Um, maybe it's family members. You love them very much, whatever, but they come and maybe they stay for a day. Maybe they stay for two. I don't know. Maybe they stay for a week. And, you know, after a while, you know, you're the one that's doing everything. Oh, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, can I get your plates? Let me put it in the sink. I'll do the dishes. I'll make the dinner. Um, oh, I got up at six in the morning, so the coffee's on. I'll make breakfast. And, that, and those people, then they just kind of go, oh, okay, I'll just sit here in this chair and wait for Sagi to make me my toast. I'll just sit here and keep lapping it up, lapping it up, lapping it up. And there's no aha moment, that no light bulb that goes on in them that where they go, oh, shit, maybe I've just kind of taken a lot of advantage of them. You know, have you ever had that happen? And when they leave, finally, you need five days to recover because your freaking energy is completely drained. Have you ever had that? That's what this reading is feeling like. It's feeling like standing your ground and putting your boundaries firmly around you, regardless of how anyone takes it. Because this is about you and your life and your life experience. 
Again, it doesn't mean being a bitch or an asshole. It just means setting solid boundaries. Okay. I have a feeling that this is not going to go on very much further. I feel, I don't, I don't know. I just got this feeling that, um, well, that's funny spirit. I will tell. Um, I just got this feeling that we're going to wrap this up pretty fast. Interesting. Cause I thought it was going to go very long. Has it? Uh, not that bad. Daughter of wands on the bottom. You seen how that was left behind when I picked up the deck. That's knight of wands. Sag, Knight of Wands for me as a channeler. That's the energy. It's you, but it's that energy of literally doing what you want and not giving an F what other people think. Again, it's not about hurting other people. It's not being, you know, trying to be malice or any of that stuff. No, it is about I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat to my own drum. And if you do not like it, oh, it's kind of not my problem. Because this is my life and I didn't come to this planet to just serve everyone else but me. Right? So, very poignant that that came out. Okay, Spirit, is there anything else you want to add? Is there anything else you have for me to um, channel for Sag, for those that this reading is meant for? Hmm, didn't come up. We got justice and judgment. Now, tell me if that isn't karmatic slash destiny, the universe. I mean, it truly is. Okay, show me a bit more here. You know, and judgment's 20, right? Is there anything else, Spirit? Oh my goodness, this is going to make me laugh if there's nothing else. Maybe that's all you needed to know in this reading, Sag. Judge, judgment and justice. Ooh, okay. Um, hmm. Let's see how many there are. We have ten of swords on the bottom. It, yes. The end. You have the nine of swords, now it's the ten. A long, drawn-out process of trying to be there for everyone. Being that beautiful person, that beautiful soul. But at the same time, man, it is draining. It's time to start over and put yourself first here. Okay, let's see what cards came out. Feels like a lot. Okay, no reversals today. Okay, what do we have here? We have the devil. Yeah, well, the devil is Capricorn's energy, but it's like, don't be tempted. Okay. How do I put this? Um, <clears throat> the devil, yes, toxic, restrictive. You know, um, people want to have control over you, uh, you know, can be addictions, can be <clears throat> exactly what I was talking about of, you know, feeling like you have to do everything for everyone. It's, I laugh because it's showing up because it's almost like uh, I, there's an awareness that spirit is giving me to give to you of don't allow yourself to like once you speak your truth, when you, once you set your boundaries. Don't allow yourself to slip out of that because sometimes it can be very easy, especially if it's a new pattern that you're establishing. Like I'm not going to give everything to my house guests, for example. Um, it can be very easy to fall back into the old routine, the old pattern, the old expectations um, that others have on you or maybe even that you've placed on yourself. Just that's what I'm feeling. The spirit is saying, don't, don't do that. We have the eight of cups next. So Eight of Cups is walking away from what no longer serves you, what no longer works for you. All done. You climbed the mountain, it was hard, and now you're done. Then we have the Death card. Ooh, Scorpio's card. I love this. So, yeah, the total transformation here, you know. Um, maybe this is something that will happen in Scorpio Season 2, so keep that in mind. But the Death card is that powerful energy of um, one thing, ending, completely ending, death and a new rebirth. We have the Fool as well. So there we go. Brand new, beautiful beginning where you can change the rules, right? Change the rules and start living your life the way you want to. We have the Two of Cups and then we have also, once again, the um, Page of Wands. Did I say Knight of Wands before? I meant Page of Wands. So same deal, all beginning. It's a new, Pages are the beginners. So you have a new beginning in your passions, in your fire, in your creativity, in how you move and your actions you take in this life, physically, you know? And it's followed by the Two of Cups, and I absolutely love that because I'm not, this is not so much of a love reading, except it's a love reading for you, from spirit to you, about loving you more and putting yourself as a priority. The Two of Cups here, although it is representing, you know, love, a partnership, two people coming together that are really entwined in the most beautiful, magical way, I'm feeling that this is representing you, Sag, 
and you, um, you really, how can I put this? You getting right with you where, you know, there's this beautiful harmony that exists within you. That's what it feels like. Okay, so what did I say? We had the justice, or not justice card. We have the ten of swords, followed by the seven of pentacles. Didn't even notice that before. There's an assessing. Where are you putting your pentacles? Where are you putting your energy? Who deserves it and who doesn't? We have the ace of swords again. I thought we had the ace of swords before. Okay, nope, all right. Must have just seen it in my mind's eye. Brand new. Brand new start in how you communicate, how you hold yourself, all of that gorgeous stuff. And it is followed by the Justice card once again. Wow, beautiful. So double confirmation. Um, you have a lot of beautiful energy and you have a lot of, um, there's just that need for you to really decipher where you're going to put it moving forward. Okay, I really do love this reading for you. I do. I think it's... Um, it's needed. It feels needed because this is totally what I was feeling off camera. Um, holy cow, you need to take a break and you need to have a, you do, you do. And think, good things are going to come to you then because you're really exercising your will, you know, your will of what you will tolerate and what you won't. I hope this makes sense. I'm just going to close my eyes for a second because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like they might want to say something here. Um, I'm just here, no, I just heard like truth be told, truth be told, I feel like that's one of these cards, I think it is, okay, it <clears throat> doesn't matter, so Sag, this is a big transformative time for you, of really kind of clearing the air, speaking your truth, standing up for you, and allowing the stability and the safety and the security and all of that stuff to come into your life, and allowing everything else to fall to the wayside that doesn't fit. I mean, it couldn't be much more clear. Couldn't. Whew. Okay, I, that's where we're going to close it, Sag. I'm going to get you a treasure from Takashi. I do hope that this helps in some way or confirms something for you. All right. We have magic on the bottom. I feel like I said something about magic, but I don't know. Okay, I'll let it be. Let me read this because it is on the bottom of the deck. Unexplained, fascinating turn of events. Expect the unexpected. You have wondered and you have let go. Magic is in the air. Don't fall under the spell of your ego. Often what appears to be real is only an illusion. Ooh, and that's kind of, okay, that's kind of what I was feeling. Sometimes I just can't find the right words to describe it, so I hope you get the gist of it. Um, that's what I was kind of feeling here about that expectation, expectation of others. But, you know, sometimes with that, we also then, we if, sometimes we don't realize it and it's in our subconscious. But there's this expectation of who we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to be in our mind that we might not even be aware of. So it is important to kind of like get in touch with that, get clear with that. And ego is a beautiful thing. It's there to protect us and get us through this life. But on a certain level, it can be very unhealthy if we feed too much into our ego, right? Okay, so it says, don't fall under the spell of your ego. Often what appears to be real is only a, an illusion. Allow the spellbinding passion of your spirit to guide your life with enchantment. Okay. Wow. Because, you know, when I'm, when I'm talking about that, it's like when I gave you that example of, you know, you have house guests that come and then all they do is they just take, 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 and you get burnt out. But when they're like, oh my goodness, you know, Sag, you've just been the best, the best host. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for da, 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 da. Sometimes we can go, you're welcome. And it wasn't so that bad, except you do feel drained after. I know you know what I'm talking about. So, okay. All right, spirit. Is there one final message you have for our gorgeous Sagittarius that you would like to close this reading off with? One card. Hmm? Okay, thought that one might fall out. Okay, we got one. Doing. We have doing. And interesting enough, the magic is on the bottom because it just came out. And then we have love on the bottom. Okay, so doing. Let's see what this says. This means action. There is a positive energy around. Make use of it. This is not the time to ask others for assistance. It is time to do something powerfully for yourself. Sad. I mean, thank you, Spirit. I love it. Look at what you have been doing. Is it working for you? If there is something you have, is there something you have put off? Do it now. Powerful. I love that. Look at what you have been doing. Is it working for you? That's exactly what this reading is about. Make that change if what you've been doing isn't working for you. Obviously, it's not going to be for everyone. 
And finally, on the bottom of the deck, we have love. Open yourself to more of it. Love yourself. You are lovable and you are worth loving. Love is always around you always, whether you feel it or not. As soon as you let go of the conditions you have placed on love, you open yourself to love from a new direction. Unconditional love may feel different to what you have allowed before. Okay, pretty powerful here. All right, Sag, this is where we're gonna leave it. This is where I'm gonna let you go. Thank you, my love, for all your support and your kindness and just being who you are. You are wonderful and you deserve all the good things in this life. And I think this is a strong message from Spirit saying, it is time for you to really put yourself first. And I would assume in all areas, Sag. All right, so with that, my love, I'm gonna let you go. I hope to see you here again. Thank you so much for your support and your love. Um, man, let me know how this goes because this feels like a very empowering reading and um, I'm really appreciative of being able to give it to you. Okay, Saggy, as always, huge kisses, big, big hugs. You're a rock star, go out there and rock this world, make it your own, and um, we'll see you next time, all right? Take care.